Hi, this is Greg, developer of Bubble Clouds. I'm back again with some really exciting new functionality, this time involving watch face themes and Tasker. Look, this tiny Tasker routine automatically sets a different watch face whether I'm at home or away. Bubble Cloud's new updated Tasker plugin can do a lot more, but let me show you the recently added theme shortcuts first. I made a whole video on custom themes, you can look it up. Let's tap on one of my saved themes. Instead of applying it now, let's press this button to create a shortcut for this theme. I call these theme bubbles. We can select where we want to place it, in a folder or into the app drawer, but now I will just let it go directly on our watch face. See the blue bubble that appeared on the watch face? Let's add another one. Notice when I pressed Add Theme Bubble, the app prompted to apply all theme settings. We could have marked one component or another if we wanted the shortcut to apply some of the settings stored in the theme, but let's go with all this time again. I adjusted the bubble weight to change the order of the bubbles. The second theme bubble appears across from the other. As you can see, we can switch between watch face styles very easily using these theme bubbles. Could it be any easier? Well, yes. Let's have Tasker press these virtual buttons based on our location. We will set this up on the phone. Both apps we need are in this bubble cloud widget. By the way, these home screen widgets are part of the same app. Watch my earlier video for an introduction. Anyway, let's go into the Bubble Cloud app first. Just as we did it on the watch, we can create theme shortcuts using the Add Theme Bubble button here. I created a shortcut for the theme we want to use at home. And now I also add a shortcut to the theme I want to use when I'm away from home. Both of these went into the folder called My Themes. Earlier, I moved a theme bubble in there, so subsequent theme bubbles automatically go there. These bubbles can be hidden in a folder on the watch. Since we don't need to manually use them, Tasker will do that for us. Let's create a profile based on Wi-Fi connection. When I'm at home, my phone is connected to my home Wi-Fi. It will trigger a task I will call Home Watch Face. This is a very simple task. First, it will only have a single action. Under Plugins, Bubble Cloud, make sure to select Where Was Bubble. Watch one of my earlier videos to learn about the other option. Press the pencil to configure the plugin. See how we can have Tasker activate or adjust any selected bubble on the watch? If you already know the bubble ID, you can type it in directly or even use Tasker percent variables to provide the ID for the plugin. But now, we will just use the search button to pick the theme bubble we want Tasker to activate. We will find all the theme bubbles in the My Themes folder I mentioned earlier. I want Tasker to activate this theme when I arrive home. Since the option Activate is already selected, we can just save our settings and head out to work on the exit task. To accomplish this, let's hold the Enter task for the option to add the exit task to appear which gets activated when the phone disconnects from the Wi-Fi network. I will call this one Away Watch Face. We set this to activate my other theme, the same way as before. Time to test. I will toggle Wi-Fi on my phone to simulate leaving and entering my home Wi-Fi. And you can see the watch follows beautifully. As I disconnect from the network, it automatically switches to this analog watch face. And when I enter the network again, it switches back to this digital one. After managing the appearance, let's see how we can change the content of the watch face using the same plugin. For demonstration, we will have the step count only show when we leave the house. We go back to the enter task and add another Wear OS bubble action. I adjust the filter to list the bubbles in the favorites, and this time we will select the step count watch face complication bubble to work on. Back on the plugin configuration screen, 
we select to modify the location of this bubble. When at home, we move this complication bubble away from the watch face into the My Themes folder. I make a copy of this action, since the exit task needs to work with the same bubble. We only need to update the destination cloud back to the favorites, which is the watch face. When we try, you can see how the step count is added when we leave the Wi-Fi and removed when we return to the connection. Please visit the app's website where I regularly post tips and tricks as well as short tutorials similar to this one. You see, after five years, I still keep adding exciting new functionality to this app. Anybody who upgraded to premium years ago still gets these additions for free. You can also support this fun project by simply liking this video or subscribing to my YouTube channel. My app could gain more exposure in the Play Store if more of you left 5 star ratings or upvoted other reviews there which you agree with. A lot of work has been put into this project. I just wish to get the app onto the wrists of as many Wear OS users as possible. Thank you for all your help in this. And as always, enjoy the bubble clouds.